Hey everybody, it's your girl Envy Goldie and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get rid of irritation bumps on your piercings, specifically your tragus piercing. If you're interested, stay tuned. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So for me, mine was an irritation bump, not a keloid. It was healing, everything was great. And then one day I was laying down, I completely forgot forgot that the piercing was even there and I hit the bleep out of it like I hit it so hard to the point where it started bleeding it hurt so bad it was like stinging but even after that trauma that I put on my fresh piercing a bump never formed then after that it was healing fine at night I was sleeping and in the midst of my sleep it hit my ear again so hard to the point where it woke me up but I was so sleepy that I didn't feel like getting up to go look at it. So I was like, whatever, I'll just deal with the consequences in the morning. So when the morning came, I looked in the mirror and there was a bump on it. It was not bleeding or anything, but it had a bump. So I knew from my, these cartilage piercings that I have up here, I knew from, then, from these, these had keloids. So I knew that tea tree oil was used to treat keloids. I would put tea tree oil on it every day. I think I diluted it with a base oil. So I wanted to see if I could use it on my tragus here since to get rid of an irritation bump. And sure enough, it did go away. The thing is, tea tree oil didn't get rid of the bump for my tragus as quickly as it did for my upper cartilage piercings. For my tragus, I had to keep applying the tea tree oil like multiple times a day, like three or four times a day for about two months before the bump actually started to go down. Also, you should not use peroxide or anything with peroxide in it to clean a piercing that's in the healing process because, you know, it'll dry out. But I did use this piercing pagoda solution. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Um, I told you guys in one of my other piercing videos that um, I couldn't use this for anything, but it came in handy. This has uh, peroxide in it and peroxide dries things out so the peroxide and the tea tree oil together dried out the bump and that's what really made it go down so again i applied perox well the the pagoda thing but you can just use hydrogen peroxide and the tea tree oil together on a q-tip and right after i cleaned the piercing with the h2 ocean spray i would put these on the q-tip together and i would put it just on the bump multiple times a day and then eventually it just went away now if that doesn't work for you because i i have heard people say that tea tree oil didn't help with their irritation bump on their tragus if that doesn't work for you i've seen videos of people crushing aspirin tablets about two or three aspirin tablets to a very small amount of water to make a paste and they apply it to their piercing bump every day and it does go away i've seen a lot of success stories with that method so if my method doesn't work for you please do that one because i know that one will work being how aspirin is anti-inflammatory it does aid in reducing the size of your bump i'm not sure if it works for keloids or not you guys can try it out let me know in the comments but i know for irritation bumps it will work wonders i hope this was informative thank you for watching before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend turn on my post notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i drop a video comment down below what videos you would like to see from me next and i'll see you guys in my next one